From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening on Evenings LA with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check updated 2021. A world exclusive brought to this channel on LA, the website, two days ago telling of viewers that the following updates have come from congressional leaders on both the House and Senate side. Negotiations near complete on the inclusion of a stimulus check in the $3.5 trillion recon. Then, that there'll be monthly stimulus checks, the Democratic staffers say. And the staffers tell viewers this channel that it's $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for six months. I'll have more world exclusives in tonight's recording as we have details about who will be eligible for this check and who will not, and also who will actually be writing the legislation. In this recording, we cut to the first 645 pages of that reconciliation budget bill. Checks for hazard pay, checks for workers, the biggest checks we've ever seen across the board. And there's a lot of checks for people. Then we cut to the second cluster of checks. More checks, including checks to stay at home, $1,700 if you're sick. Then checks under the third cluster for things like repairs, cars, vehicles, seniors, SSI and SSDI, big checks across the board, no checks for electric surfboards, unfortunately. <laughs> then we cut to the confusion as the debt ceiling limit is causing a lot of confusion across the country. Does it impact the delivery of your benefits checks if you're on Social Security? It does not. I'll explain to you what's going on with the debt ceiling limit, and then we go over more world exclusives. As I now show you who is going to call the vote first on the bill, the recon, and who will go second. And then the big surprise. As an additional $15 billion lands in city, county, and states for rent, utilities, and food, and internet. It's a big night, and the nonprofits are stepping up. I'm stepping up. We're all stepping up. Just there should have been an electric surfboard in there. It's a big evening. I'm excited for you to join me as Evenings LA starts right now. beautiful evening across the board. It warmed up a, up a little bit here in Santa Monica. So beautiful night for stroll on the beach and looking for the electric surfboard. Not in the recon, <laughs> but everything else is in that recon. The world exclusive delivered on LA, the news site nearly two decades old, was two days ago. That staffers from congressional leaders on both the House and Senate side say negotiations are near complete for the inclusion of a stimulus check in that recon, a bill, $3.5 trillion, that the checks will be monthly. And that... The checks will look like something around here. Thousand dollars the first after the first month for six months. But in tonight's recording, we go over more world exclusives you haven't heard anywhere else until you tune into this channel. Over eligibility for the check and who will draft it and when we'd actually see the legislation of the three point five trillion dollar recon. Well, the first six hundred forty five pages have been released, and it's deliciousness. Checks for seniors, checks for workers, checks for home repairs, checks for college students. We go to cluster number two. More checks that include staying at home if you have to because someone's sick. Then cluster number three, the checks the president wants in there that would have an immediate savings on your bank account or savings in your wallet. Could also bring in T-Mobile. <laughs> T-Mobile, Sir Loin's favorite internet provider. I have all the incredible deliciousness of this recording. Then the debt ceiling limit, certainly an issue of confusion. I'll explain it in this recording. It's new for tonight on Evening to LA. And then that $13 billion land in cities, counties, and states is being supplemented by a new surprise. The nonprofits are paying big money for rent for the views of this channel this week. Wow. It's a big night. And this is LA, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week, financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. It's a big show. And then we have shows at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11.30. Big shows across the board. You never know what you'll see. Last night, we had an hour-long show as well. So subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family, that family that is changing history day after day. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. The link is under the video. It's Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Don't forget to sign up for those LA alerts as well so you get alert when a new video goes live. That confirmation email may be in the spam folder. It's at news.la.com 
let's get to the world exclusive that LA at the News site delivered two days ago. The inclusion of a stimulus check in the $3.5 trillion recon has been confirmed by staffers from both senators and Democrats to countless viewers of this channel. In, uh, staffers have also confirmed to viewers of this channel that negotiations for the inclusion of that check is near complete, that it will be monthly checks, and that they'll run $1,000 a month after the first month of $2,000. This is what advocacy does, and you must advocate, not ask, but advocate. And it started eight weeks ago when a wonderful viewer, WR, picked up the phone and advocated to Senator Chris Coons, Democrat, Delaware's office, and say, I need a stimulus check. I got to tell you why I need it. And his office said, yes, he's putting a stimulus check in there. Three weeks ago, Brother Joshua advocated as a viewer of this channel, picked up the phone and called Bernie Sanders' office. I got to tell you why I need it. This is why I need it. This is why my church needs it. Sanders' office saying yes. Stimulus check monthly, $1,000 to $1,400, three to six months. Different provisions. Those are Bernie's provisions. And there you go. But then the floodgates open. As I said, advocate. Pick up the phone and advocate. Do not track them. Do not treat legislators like a tracking tool. And people advocated. They did. And Donnie led by example. Donnie picked up the phone and called up Sanders' office saying, I need it. My family needs it. This is why I need it for my city to progress and improve. And Sanders' office said yes. We're doing it. Hurricane Tina advocated. Sanders' office said yes. Then Caroline said, come on. We're losing our homes. We're losing everything we got. Sanders' office said yes. Yaya called up uh, Wyden's office, and Wyden's office said yes. And Lori called up Sanders' office saying, Purple Power, I need to make a big push for us because we need that help. Yaya getting confirmation from Wyden's office saying, yes, he'll do an MSC and he'll include SS200 as well. But then Will led by example. He showed us you don't pick up the phone and call one person. You pick up as many phone calls as you can. And he called Sanders, Warren, Schumer, advocated in three offices. Why I need it. Why my family needs it. Why my church needs it. And Warren's office coming back, yes, saying yes, she will do it. $1,000 to, excuse me, $1,400 to $2,000, six to 12 months. It was Lorica that really took us to another level because Lorica called up Bob Casey's Democratic senator's office, advocated for it, and he said not only had the staffer that they're doing it, but they're near negotiations. But it was late last week where I said we're going to need to head over to the House members and start advocating with them, AOC, Omar, Jalapal, Pelosi. And Paul did that with AOC, picked up the phone and advocated with AOC's office, why Paul's family needs it. And AOC's office confirmed she's putting it in there, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, 6 to 12 months. And then Janice did the same with Jayala Paul. Late yesterday, we saw what advocacy looks like when one viewer, whose name I'm withholding, called an office and said, I lost my husband. I got had 10 surgeries. I'm raising two adult children. I'm on SSI and SSDI. I don't have enough money. I need it. And then Margaret bringing her impassioned advocacy to the phone so much so that the recipient on the other side of the phone cried with her on air. Mark brought us to another level, though, when he called Pelosi's office on Monday, and Speaker Pelosi's office confirmed they're doing it, $1,000 a month after the first month of 2000, and that negotiations are far from complete. But I got new world exclusives tonight, and I'm going to show them to you starting right now. Number one. I've been reporting for nearly three months that the House Democrats will be writing the legislation. I'm reporting tonight that the House Democrats will be writing the provision about the MSC, Staffers Tell Viewers Channel. Number two, I'm hearing tonight from Paul that AOC, Jayala Paul, Omar, and Pelosi are writing the provision about the MSC. And finally, I'm hearing as well from Paul that the eligibility may be for 19-year-olds or older because newborn to age 18 get a stimulus check elsewhere in the first 645 pages of that recon bill, $3,600 check. Let's cut to that first 645 pages of the reconciliation budget bill starting right now. Stay at the very end of this video because there's a lot coming up in tonight's evening's broadcast you do not want to miss. The first 645 pages of the reconciliation budget bill has 645 pages of checks. Everything in this recon is not requiring you to be eligible because of COVID. It's not a COVID bill. It's a lifetime bill. And that first 645 pages has checks for hazard pay, seniors caring for the young adults, $51,000 of MSCs, home repairs, college student grants, and money for bikes, vehicles, 
and trucks. Let's go over all of them, starting with the very first one, HazardPay. HazardPay will be lifetime, maybe, for my essential workers. This channel is the vortex for HazardPay advocacy. No less, than, no less than 500 videos made on this channel in 2020. Biggest place on the internet for advocacy for hazard pay, and now it's going to be lifetime. By modifying an old tax code called the Earned Income Tax Credit, broadening the eligibility so more people qualify for it, and increasing the amount. Meaning that if you're a central worker every year that you work in that environment and you qualify for the income level, then you will get this Earned Income Tax Credit. How about money for caring for the elderly? This is a big surprise. Came from Representative Richard Neal. And up to $4,000 a year if you care for an elderly person at home. On the other side, up to $4,000 a year if you care for a young child. How about money for college students? Yes, there's a grant for a college student. Uh, directly to the university or to the college student. And then they're going to make the Pell's grant tax-free. How about home repairs? Oh, boy, it's in there. If you have a home in the low-income community, the federal government will give you money to incentivize you to make the repairs at home. Then, how about $51,000 of monthly stimulus checks over 18 years? It's happening. If you're a low-income household and you make the threshold less than that threshold and have a newborn child, then you'll get upwards of $300 a month every month for every year for up to 18 years that you're eligible. That's $51,000 per child. That's why their checks, those children's checks from newborn to 18, are not in that other provision because they're covered in this one. And then money for bikes, vehicles, and pickups, and trucks. Oh, boy. First, bikes. And I mean bikes by bicycle, not motorcycle. If it's electric, the federal government will pay 15% of the purchase price of a new electric bike for any purpose. Then a vehicle that's electric from the number three auto manufacturer for personal use, yes, up to $7,500 under this recon. And then if the vehicle's for business use, or it's an electric truck for business use, either one electric, and it's the number three auto manufacturers, a little bit more the federal government will pay. There you go. That's the first 645 pages of the massive reconciliation budget bill. But there's two other clusters I'm going to show you in this video. The second cluster coming up in just two minutes has 12 checks, including one that pays upwards of $1,700 a week. The third cluster checks for free internet, free money for seniors and workers. That's cluster number three. But let's go over how we got to this first 645 pages. These 645 pages were done by Democrats with Democrats, House members and senators, negotiating. And where do they negotiate? Be negotiate behind closed doors. Not on TV, not on C-SPAN, not on the House floor, not on the Senate floor, not on TV, and certainly not on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, they're not dancing on TikTok. No. They pick up the phone and say, hey, what do you think about this? They have a cup of coffee. Hey, what do you think about this? Oh, the 15% for the bike? I like it. Go write it up. The $4,000 for the elderly? I like it. Go write it up. And the first 645 pages are the ones that were easy for them to agree upon. They said, go write it up. In cluster number two and cluster number three, which I'm getting to a second, they've agreed to do those provisions. They haven't gone over the amounts or the, the percentages yet, so that's why they haven't been written up as well. Let's take a detour over to the third stimulus just for a second because third stimulus got a huge surprise. Last week, Department of Treasury announced, I got an extra $13 billion for you for money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, along with third stimulus. This is huge. Every state. Rich, poor, blue, red, purple. Every state will have an extra cash infusion. It won't last there forever because it's $13 billion, which is a lot, but still not a lot. So I'm going to show you in the second half of this video, stay the final 15 minutes, of how to get this big sum of money. And with that, let's get some more checks. Let's cut to cluster number two. These is where the big deliciousness kicks in. Cluster number two includes checks for paid family leave and paid medical leave. Family leave, your pregnant wife. Medical leave, your son who has the broken leg. How much does it pay a fortune? Under third symbols of $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. Let's split in half. $35,000 a year, that's $800 a week. Let's split in half. Let's say you make $15,000 a year, then that would be $400 a week. Then child care programs, more checks for that. Checks for household tax credits. Then there's checks for seniors, like eligibility for dental vision, checks and reduction of the Medicare eligibility. More about that in the third cluster. And then I like this one, the weatherization of your home checks. Yes, this is the second check in here for your home. Weatherization of a home, definitely needed, especially when the Purple Hawks are on the roof. <laughs> weatherization of a home. If you're in a tornado area, hurricane, fire area, this is huge. Later in this video, I'm going to show you that nonprofits are paying this money this week. 
Oh boy, yeah, stay to the final 15 minutes of this video. Then come college, the educational checks, pre-kindergarten checks, and then tuition-free community college for anyone of any age. Very needed because there's a new class offered at the community college. It's called What the World is L.A. Saying? I don't understand his language. 101. <laughs> it's for people who think I talk a foreign language. So thank you. Pardon my French. But you can now take that class. Uh, and finally, not have to translate me on Google Translate. <laughs> there you go. And then checks for Glean Energy. Wow. So where are the House members? Where are the Senate members? Have you seen them? Yes, they have been in town. They've been in town for over a month, but they're also on in session. That favorite expression, we love that expression, it means nothing for us. Why does it mean nothing for us? Because they're not negotiating on the House floor and Senate floor. They're negotiating over a cup of coffee, on the phone, uh, in their offices, having a straw. That's how they're going over the provisions. And the third cluster they're getting to is a one that I have a world exclusive for for you today as well. Class number three, these are the presence checks, the ones he wants in there. Free school months for all, checks, che cheaper prescription medication checks, checks for, clean, uh, for elections, checks for farmers, checks for clean energy, checks for workers like independent contractors, checks for seniors, like dental checks, vision checks, hearing care checks, and checks for lowering eligibility age. Well, here's a world exclusive you're only here on this channel. Last Friday, buried in a news article, you know, no one saw it. They were covering Chloe's lip, lip gloss instead. Uh, buried in a news article was that the Senate parliamentarian had taken one of these provisions in this third cluster, which I don't read on camera because it doesn't concern you. It's a check for judiciary. She said it doesn't belong in there. Have to take it out. Oh, so what I did was I pulled up my old notes and I looked and saw how much that count, how much that accounts for. It's $107 billion. So that $107 billion is going to you because it's not going to the judiciary. Wow, incredible, great news. Then two of these checks in this third class of the president loves that I like because they're automatic savings to your wallet. Here's the first one. Cheaper prescription medication. You go to the pharmacy on Monday, for example, and take two $20 bills out to pay for a prescription. This becomes law, slashes the prices for the prescriptions between the federal government and the, and the pharmaceutical companies. So you, when you go back to refill, you open your wallet and you get to leave an extra $20 bill in there because it may only be $20, half the price from before. Then free internet, particularly wonderful. The federal government's going to give fortunes to cities, counties, and states so they can run their own internet company and offer you free internet. The company is called Timubu. <laughs> It's Sir Loin's company. It's Team Mubu. Yes, it has a picture of a cow uh, instead of pur instead of purple. <laughs> That's Team Mubu. It's uh, Team Mubu, and it's it's white and black. Uh, no, it's free. It's really true. They have free internet, and all you have to do is contact them and say what's the Wi-Fi and password. The password is scarf, of course. <laughs> and there you go. That is the third cluster. In the second half of this video, we have a lot coming up, and boy, we're gonna go over the debt ceiling limit. I've done this video before. I did it twice in 2020 because we confronted the debt ceiling limit twice last year. And I know the number one question of viewers says, is my Social Security check going to come on time? I, the answer is yes. I'm going to answer that and more in the second half of this video. Then we'll come back, back right back to this world exclusive about this MSC IRS check. I have more details tonight. We'll go over what's happening today. New world exclusive details about this IRS check tonight. Then we'll be cutting the third stimulus and the money for rent and utilities and another world exclusive because the nonprofits are paying money like I haven't seen in a long time. It's deliciousness. And then finally, I'll go over which side will vote first, House or Senate for four stimulus, and also will be cutting the fifth stimulus. It's a big evening, and the excitement's just starting. Stay with me. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily.
The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LL8 returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LL8 at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LL8. And the excitement continues right now on Evenings LA, direct from Santa Monica, California. As the excitement continues, as the present gets the recon ready, we'll be going over more about that world exclusive about that recon. Then we'll be cutting to the big surprise as the death ceiling limit looms. What does it mean for you? What does it mean for stimulus? What does it mean for federal employees? I'll explain details that you're not gonna see anywhere else because it's a complicated issue and I'm gonna make it very simple for you. Then we're gonna come back to that recon and a world exclusives more you're gonna see in the second half of this video. And then we'll be cutting to third stimulus because guess what? The nonprofits are paying big sums of money we never thought possible. And this is Evening's Ally. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Boy, it's been incredible last two weeks, and I want us to continue to grow the last two weeks, the biggest two weeks of this channel in nearly three months. Be part of this incredible family and get ready for tonight, because coming up tonight is Overnight's Crypto. Shows at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11.30. Let's cut to the big surprise that no one saw coming when the president allocated an additional $13 billion under third stimulus. $13 billion under third stimulus, yes. This is for rent, utilities, and also mortgage assistance. Third stimulus had an allocated approximately $48 billion, but they hadn't sent out the last $13 billion. It went out starting last week and again this week. If you're a member of this channel, it's now included in the newsletter that goes out to members nightly. I'm going to go over that in a second, but first let's go over the money for rent. The numbers have gone up double. Money for utilities has gone up triple. And money for SNAP has gone up 400% because of what has happened with viewers in the last few days. Let's look at the numbers for rent. It was a month ago that Purple Hawks this channel were getting $20,000. Well, late last week, Jen got nearly $40,000. Several viewers got over $30,000. An incredible growth from $20,000 a month before. Mark's brother-in-law, you've met Mark. He's that $51,000 Mark. Here's Mark. 50, Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000 for utilities. That now is nearly triple what it was a month ago. And then when we talk about SNAP, it was $5,000. Well, Mark's brother-in-law got $21,000. Let's go over all the details. And new details tonight, you're not hearing anywhere else but here. I'm going to show you six places to reach out to. Reach out to all six. They have different eligibility. They have different pots of money. Then listen to the keywords I say in the video. And then listen for the nonprofits as well. All right, here are the six places you're going to reach out to. Your city hall, your city house authority. Your county hall, your county house authority. And your state hall and your state house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. That's it. Let's go over the six places again. City hall, city house authority. County hall, county house authority. State hall and state house authority. Now, the next part is very critical. The federal government is sending out $13 billion. It sounds like a lot, but money gets used up very quickly. They made the announcement last week. If you're a member of this channel, I want you to read the announcement. It's in the newsletter every night. I want you to read that announcement because if you reached out to a county or state and they said before, we ran out of money, they will have the money. After you read the statement, call up that place you reached out before and say, have you gotten the money yet? If they say no, say, can I be on the waiting list? If they say there is no waiting list, call every day. Longtime viewer Kevin Lee did this in 2020. He heard about rent available in Dallas, Texas, applied, and within three days it was gone. This money, you need to pounce. Hawk, hawk. That's why we call it a purple hawk. <laughs> then money for utilities. Yes, I want you to reach out to all your different utilities companies. So if you have five, reach out to five. Then the big surprise is the nonprofits. And this is, again, new tonight. 
There were five nonprofits, which I detailed extensively in nearly 200 videos in fall 2020 and early 2021, on a popular show called Purple on this channel. But I didn't know if they were still paying. So I started covering them again last week. Oh boy, are they paying. One viewer wants me to tell you that he reached out to St. Vincent de Paul, one of the five I mentioned, and said they have a rent program. It's very easy. Go through it and you'll get it done very quickly. Another viewer wants you to know that the minute I brought you, uh, the, the nonprofits back on this channel, United Way said to that viewer, no one's reached out to us for rent that much anymore because they're just going to the federal government now. And that viewer got approved overnight. Another viewer wants you to know that she got money from one of the nonprofits for a new refrigerator, a new furnace, and to repair her window. Which of the nonprofits? Here they are, all five. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent de Paul. It's important to know they're in the newsletter for members every night and reach out to them. They have total different eligibility. You don't have to be behind on the rent. They are not the federal government. They do different things like money for clothing sometimes, appliances, money to help for home homelessness, into shelters, money for food. They do very, very unusual things because they are absolutely wonderful organizations. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. All right, let's turn to SNAP. SNAP is a money for food. He gets a lot of money. It comes from the Department of Agriculture. Mark's brother-in-law, 21000 It's heading to 26000 Why? Because of an executive order, because of an order two weeks ago that's raising everyone's benefits up an average of 25% lifetime automatically starting in October. Now, this has caused some confusion. Why? Because some people are getting the letter that the prior increase is ending, which it is. There's a second letter coming that says the new increase is coming. So you get that letter saying the prior increase is ending, and then you say, oh, that's all I'm going to get? No, no, no. There's a second letter coming. I know it's confusing. Then, unemployment benefits. The raise from your, the, 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 the overpayment of unemployment benefits from your state due to computer error, they are landing. Reach out to your state. Average payment is about $3,000 to $5,000. And then the refund check from IRS that you pay taxes on the 2020 unemployment benefits, that is landing. Average payment is about $1,000 to $1,200. $1,000 to $2,200 approximately. Margaret got it, Cod got it, Michael got it, Lynn Glenn and Gail got money for SNAP. If you got in any of these monies, post it in the live chat right now because you inspire people to pick up the phone. Finally, if you haven't become a Purple Hawk, please do. There's a lot of reasons to become a Purple Hawk. Purple Power Calcino VIP. The membership link is under the video. Daily at night, I delivered that newsletter and it's now been ramped up to include the nonprofits and include this new $13 billion allocation. It's important to understand that a lot of this money that is detailed in the newsletter, first, second, and third stimulus, may not get repeated under fourth stimulus. So I want you to get all this big sums of money. If you're a viewer who've already gotten money, like Nisi or Art Sullivan, I want you to try to get money further into the future from keep on pushing. Get more months in the future, the better, the better you are. Get these big sums of money detailed daily in the newsletter. Consider becoming a member. The link is under the video. And with that, we go into the final 15 minutes of this extended broadcast. It will be extended because I'm going over more world exclusives about that IRS MSC, and I'm going over the uh, the debt ceiling and, and, and default of the federal government looming and also fifth stimulus. Huh? A lot to do still. All right, let's go over the IRS MSC, the world exclusive delivered on this channel no less than two days ago. Number one, staffers telling viewers this channel that negotiations are near complete for the inclusion of a stimulus check in the four stimulus package, that the check would be month late, and that the check would run $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for six months. New tonight are the following slight modifications to that. Number one, that the check would be for people 19 years or older, because if you're newborn to 18, you got the check in the other part of this video. That was that $3,600 check. They don't want you getting double payment, which makes sense. Number two, I've been reporting for three months that the House is writing the legislation. I'm again reporting tonight that the House would be writing this provision about the, uh, this, the checks. Uh, viewer Paul is reporting to me that he has heard that AOC, Jayalapal, and Pelosi with Omar are leading the way to write it up. And then finally, um, it, it is really not done until it's done. Remember, until the president puts pen to paper, you need to advocate to the last second. How do we get here? Eight weeks ago, WR, longtime viewer of this channel, who recently said the following comment. A viewer said, I'm praying for stimulus. He said, prayer is good. Calling on the phone is better. He advocated when a lot of people weren't, and I said to advocate. He picked up the phone and advocated, saying, I need a stimulus check. Senator Chris Coons, Democrat, Delaware, Joe Biden's old confidant, 
And Senator Chris Coons said yes. He's putting a stimulus check in there from the Senate Democrats. Then, about three weeks ago, I expressed the importance of understanding Bernie Sanders in the equation. The House, they have a budget committee, and they're running this, the recon bill. The, the Senate, they have a budget committee, and its chairman is Bernie Sanders. He's pivotal because he actually got the price tag of $3.5 trillion. He got the recon procedural done for us. We're on recon substance now, remember. And he also said three weeks ago, Unlike prior budget chairman, I, did, I like to get out amongst the people when writing a budget bill. That means he wants to hear from you. He wants to hear you advocate him. And at that time, I said, pick up the phone and advocate. Not a lot of people did, but Margaret did, Lynn Glenn did, and Brother Joshua did. Really advocated. In the last 24 hours, we saw advocacy step up to a level I've never seen before. The advocacy was delivered by two wonderful godsend viewers, Margaret. Oops, that's not Margaret. Here is Margaret um, right there who called up the staffer, I believe it was Sanders' office, and said the, the conversation was so emotional that the staffer and her started to cry. Then another viewer whose identity I'm withholding for obvious reasons said she lost her husband during the pandemic. She's had 10 surgeries since his passing. She's had to raise two teenage girls herself as a single mom on SSI and SSDI. It's not enough. And that putting MSCs in the recon would really make a big difference in her life. That's the true embodiment of advocacy, saying, I need it. This is why I need it. My family needs it. My church needs it. My community needs it. I got to tell you why. This is what's happened to our town. This is what happened to everything. Let me show you on the other side what is not advocacy. This is not advocacy. Asking questions like the person on the other side of the phone is the FedEx tracking tool. When, where, will, how, who, when, who, ah, ooh. No, 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 no. If all you contribute to the con conversation is asking when, you're not helping anyone. You need to advocate. And viewers have been just doing this incredible job for it. And it started with Brother Joshua, who advocated for his church, his business, and his family, and his community himself. And Bernie Sanders' office said yes. Stimulus check, monthly. $1,000 to $1,400. Three to six months is what Bernie's office wanted to do it. But told Brother Joshua he needs to hear your support across the board. I said, pick up the phone and advocate. Don't pick up the phone and ask. Pick up the phone and advocate. And that happened with the incredible comment from Donnie, who picked up the phone and really advocated well. This is what Donnie wrote, writes. I called Santa's office. I said, I need it. I need it for my city. I need it to progress. I need it for my water bill. I need it for everything. I told her everything I need this stimulus check for. Remember what Donnie says. I told her everything I need this stimulus check for. And she said, yes, they're putting a forced stimulus check in there. That is the true embodiment of advocacy, saying everything you need it for. It didn't stop there. Then it came with Hurricane Tina, who picked up the phone and advocated as well, saying, I need it. Then Caroline, a longtime viewer from Morning's Countdown, our hit show at 7 a.m. now, uh, said, people are losing their homes. They're losing everything they got. We need help right out here. People are just losing everything. Sanders' office saying yes. Lori Silver saying Purple power, we need it. People are just losing stuff. Yaya advocating to win uh, to Ron Wyden's office. Why we need it? Because this is the situation for SSDI and SSDI. And she advocated for inclusion of SS200. And they said yes. And then came Will late in the week, who really took it to another level. Level picking up the phone and calling three offices: Schumer, Sanders, and Warren, advocating across the board. I need it, Will. I need it because of this in my town, my community. And Warren's office saying, yes, she's doing $1,400 to $2,000, 6 to 12 months. Lorica was perhaps one of the most fascinating conversations with Bob Casey's office because they said not only is he doing it, but they're currently negotiating the amounts right now. It was by the end of the last week I said, okay, you've been doing a great job of advocacy on the Senate side. Now you need to advocate over to the House side. It was on the morning show today that Janice knew what I was going to say. She was in the live chat. She said, L.A., I keep on trying to get Omar on the phone. Yes, get Omar on the phone, on the House side, and advocate. I needed Omar. And Janice promised to viewers she's going to try there as well. You try as well. I said, contact AOC Omar, Jayalapal, and Pelosi. And Paul got AOC's office on the phone. AOC's office, Paul advocated for himself, for his family, his wife, and his kids. 
And they said yes at AOC's office. Monthly stimulus check, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, 6 to 12 months. Janice, the same Janice I just mentioned, she got Jayalapal's office on the phone last Friday. They said yes. At that point, we had Sanders, Coons, Warren, Schumer, Casey, Wyden on the Senate side, all saying they're including a stimulus check and it's monthly. And then we have AOC and Jayalapal all saying that it's monthly as well. We had Mark really step up on last mon- this last Monday. He got Pelosi's office on the phone and advocated vigorously for himself and his family. And they said, yes, Pelosi's doing $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, 6 to 12 months. But the details you're seeing tonight is that advocacy does not stop here. It stops when the president signs it into law. So pick up the phone and advocate because that is what this channel is about advocating for something that you need. I need it for this. I need it for my family. The comments from Margaret and the woman whose identity I'm withholding embody what an advocacy for stimulus check looks like. I need it because these are the things I can't afford to pay, and I need to pay them. If I can't pay them, this is what's going to happen. People need to hear your story, your town story, your family story, your daughter's story, your business. They need to hear it because they're legislators. On the other side of the phone, they don't see your face but they feel your emotion. And with that, let's cut to the debt ceiling limit, which is one of those things that you sort of want to say, what is it? (laughs) What is it? It's sort of like you're looking at San Francisco hairstyle and you're like, what is it? The debt ceiling limit I need to cover for a series of reasons. Number one, it's a very, very complicated thing. And even the smartest people don't get it right. Number two, Mitch McCall spoke about it today, spoke about it yesterday. And even conservative media says Mitch McConnell's deliberately misstating it. He's saying exactly the wrong thing, believing that you'll uh, that you'll uh, that you'll go along with what his story is. It's totally untrue. Then it's complete open field for trolls to confuse you because it's confusing the 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 item. Lastly, it's important to understand whether your benefit checks like Social Security are impacted and whether the stimulus package is impacted. So let's go over what it is right now and what's going on. The debt ceiling limit is a arcane way of running the government that every few months they have to meet Democrats and senators, House and 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 uh, House and Senate, and agree to extend the debt ceiling limit. Historically, it's a nonpartisan battle. Steve Mnuchin, which you remember from 2020, he's a Republican. Minutes before I went on camera, he said, "Get this done. This needs to be done. You don't." Do partisan games on this. He actually went after Mitch McConnell about this. So it's it's a nonpartisan thing. It was a thing that I covered a lot on 2020 on this channel. And so I know the questions it evokes. The first question and the biggest question it evokes is, will my Social Security check not be coming? Will my SSI or SSDI or veterans check not be coming or be late or I won't receive it if the government defaults next week? The answer is categorically no. You are fine for now. These defaults, and if if you've been on this channel since day one, I've actually, we've gone through this, I think, three times over four. And one time they missed the date by a few days. The way it works is the following. It is very, very common. They don't get it done by the deadline and they get it done a few days later. Is anything impacted by that? Nothing's impacted by it. It is common over a generation that they miss it by about a week. Does anything get impacted within a week? Uh, Generally not a week. Two weeks, it's also common. Does anything get impacted after two weeks not getting it done? Yes. And this is not you again. This is someone that works in a federal job that might get eighty dollars to $100,000 annual salary and are not an essential part of the operation of that office, they may be told not to come into the office if this continues two weeks past the deadline. If it continues for, uh, three or four weeks past the deadline, then federal courts where people are paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, again, not you, they are told that it is not opening. Again, not you. In that entire time frame that I showed you one day over, li- over the limit, a week over the limit, three weeks, four weeks, During that entire duration, no one's Social Security checks will come late or won't be coming. Everything will be normal for Social Security checks. Things will be normal for benefits checks, veterans checks. All your benefit systems will be operating totally normal. Also, 
Very common question I got in 2020. My son or daughter is in the military. Will they get paid? Absolutely, they'll get paid. There is no change to the operation. When does this become a concern for you? If it becomes a rare, once-in-a-generation occurrence that it goes on for upwards of two months. I slightly recall, recall when I was a very, very young child, it went on for several, it went on for two months. And when it did, then it potentially could be a concern for you that maybe if this goes two months. Do I see that happening at the moment? I don't know. All right, now, next one. So to so, so recap, no concern for you and your checks at, so, at whatsoever unless this continues for two months. At the moment, it doesn't look like it is. All right, the next thing is stimulus. Does this impact the the $3.5 trillion for stimulus recon. 100% does not. <laughs> Mitch McConnell is absolutely lying to his teeth and telling you it does. And let me explain to you why this is so ridiculous. In fact, a conservative publication today called out Mitch for running this fake narrative. Let me explain what the, what the debt ceiling limit concerns. The debt ceiling limit is to pay for things that are laws. <clears throat> is to pay for things that are laws. Did you not, not notice that the recon is not law yet? <laughs> it's not law yet. So it's not a debt because it's not law yet. It's not part of the debt of the federal government. They don't have to pay that because it's not law yet. The things that the default, potential default of the government would impact is Trump stuff from 2020. All the Trump laws would not be able to be paid if this goes on for months because those are laws. It would impact the Biden laws from earlier this year because those things are laws. It does not impact something that's not a law. That's why we have a bill. <laughs> so that when that bill becomes a law, it gets paid its own way. It's sort of obvious. Now, Mitch McConnell is literally out on press telling you that the recon is going to fall apart because, yeah, it's, just, it's totally it's totally untrue. The, the, the naysayers will probably repeat that, and they'll probably run Mitch's quote. Um, it's totally 100% true. Uh, untrue. Now, let's turn to calendaring. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, if you haven't asked it, I'm asking it. Does the attention to the debt ceiling limit take away from their time, congressional leaders, to work on the recon? No. Pelosi's very good on this, on taking care of things quickly. And late last night, the House passed their debt ceiling limit bill. So the House, who's writing your recon, they got nothing else to do now except write your recon. They're done with the debt ceiling limit. It's over to the Senate. Senate's not writing the recon. Senate's just saying, hey, what do you think about a bike at 15%? Oh, yeah, I like it. Go write it up, House. House has all the work to do, and House has their whole table now clear to write about the recon. So there is no concern about the debt ceiling limit impacting your situation. Finally, what does debt ceiling limit really mean? I mean, what is exactly does it? What is it for? It basically says that um, the money has to be sent out, so it has to be allocated, so that the government can run its operations, um, and 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 those operations generally do not concern you. It concerns federal offices. You know, federal agencies and federal branches of, of the U.S. government uh, of the of the U.S. government. It does not concern your states, which I think is important to say. I've I've not made that clear throughout the day. I'll be staying on top of the subject to the extent that which it gets confusing. Uh, but by next week, we will see. What do I think is going to happen? We have three opportunities. We have the House bill. We have the Democrats' bill, which uh, is a little bit too robust. And then we have the Republicans bill, which is a little bit too narrow. And then we have do nothing, which is default and then negotiate. I think uh, it is highly likely they're going to miss the deadline and then they're going to start to negotiate. I think it's more likely they go closer to what the Republicans are asking for, which is more to the bone. Remember, both sides have allocation of funds that doesn't concern the operation of the government. For example, um, uh, f uh, you know, it's, it's, Ida, there's Ida relief in there, for example, uh, hurricane relief that both sides went in there. So it, it is a little bit elaborate, but there you go. Fist stimulus. When did fist stimulus heat up? It hits up for a final vote by around December. So that comes up after this. Raising your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, Veterans benefits. Then applies the new benchmark, inflation. Inflation will raise your benefits up, so if it's 5%, you'll go up another 5% a lifetime, not just next year. Asset limit going away, income limit go away, and debts and, uh, and marriage penalty going away. Finally, which side will vote first? I'm exclusively reporting that the House will vote first because the House bill. And that House voting first is a big help to you for two reasons. One, if Jayalapal, Omar, 
AOC, all three of which you should be calling, and Pelosi get it right, then the legislation is written the way we like it. We're good. Then, if by chance it's not written right, well, the Senate would vote last in a two-day voter rama, and that would get the opportunity for all those senators who've made those big representations to us to take care of it right. Coons, Casey, Warren, Sanders, Schumer, all to take care of it with the final vote. Big night with a lot of recordings coming up tonight is more shows. We got shows at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, excuse me, five o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11.30. One personal message is a lot of, the late, of these later shows are very helpful for you because a lot of you still use Direct Express Card by Comerca. Some of you still use Direct Express Card. And I want you to watch those videos because a lot of people encountered a lot of issues when receiving prior stimulus checks when they were with one bank but not with another bank. When you're informed about this, this situation, whether you're with Chase or you're with Chime, whether you're with Co Direct Express or whether you are with uh, Bank America, it's important to know what happened before because it could happen again. I remember the last stimulus round, people said, well, it didn't happen to me the prior round. Well, this is the new one. So I want you to know what's happened before. It's very important to understand how tracking of a stimulus check is a whole issue unto itself. And that's certainly the topic of this channel tonight. So with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Thank you for joining me throughout the night, and thank you for staying to the very end of this video that has a lot coming up. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, Casino VIP. The link's in the video and in the description. Also sign up for those LA alerts in the description so you do not miss a video when a new video goes live. It's at news.la.com forward slash alerts. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.